वेलकम बैक टू केमिस्ट्री जी ओ सी असाइनमेंट असाइनमेंट नंबर एट यू आर विथ लक्ष्मा रेडी सर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी फाइव डिस्टिलेशन इज यूज टू सेपरेट लिक्विड्स विच डिफर इन देयर बॉइलिंग पॉइंट बाय फोर्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस मोर देन फोर्टी विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट यूज फॉर द प्योरिफिकेशन ऑफ सॉलिड इम्प्योरिटीज डिस्टिलेशन A mixture contains four solid organic compounds A, B, C, and D. On heating, only C changes from solid to vapor state. C can be separated from the rest in the mixture. Solid to vapor state means it must be sublimation. The latest technique used for purification of organic compounds is nowadays generally we are using chromatography. That is the best method. In paper chromatography, moving phase is liquid and stationary phase is also liquid. Which of the following is the scientific method to test the presence of water in a liquid? Copper sulphate turns anhydrous copper sulphate into blue. Fifty-first question. Don't drink to test the water. Okay, it all colorless liquids are not water, right? Sodium nitrate is an alkaline solution. Alkaline solution of sulphide. Sulphide ions. Sulphide ions produce a sodium nitroprusside with sulphide ions. Okay, color is purple color. NOS. Okay, na. Zero point two grams of an organic compound on complete combustion produces zero point one eight grams of water. Then the percentage of hydrogen is mass of water by mass of organic compound into two by eighteen into hundred. See this hundred. This point I am taking out eighteen eighteen cancel. So this is nothing but two by point two. Two by point is nothing but ten percent. Which of the following organic compounds contain about fifty two percent carbon? Okay, this you need to do. Ethanol. Ethanol is CH three CHO. CH three CHO contains twelve plus twelve twenty four grams of carbon. In total molecular mass is twenty four plus four plus sixteen forty forty four. Out of forty four, if it is twenty four. For hundred, how much it is going to be? Percentage calculation, and uh, you are when you are solving, you will be getting this fifty-two percent exactly in dimethyl ether according to my key. Let's check. You just check and tell me. Twenty-nine point five milligrams of carbon compound contain nitrogen was digested according to the Jeldahl's method, and uh, evolved ammonia was absorbed in twenty mL of point one mL HCl solution. The excess of the acid. Required 15 mL of 0.1 mL solution for the complete neutralization. The percentage of nitrogen in the compound is 20 mL 0.1 mL HCl. Here you see 15 mL 0.1 mL OH. That means for 15 mL 0.1 mL OH, 15 mL of 0.1 HCl is required. So out of 20 mL, 50 mL was 15 mL was used for sodium hydroxide. Means here it was used only 5 mL. So percentage of nitrogen is equal to as I told you. This is 1.4 into Normality, I will say molarity for HCl both are same into volume by weight of organic compound twenty nine point five. When you solve this, you will get the answer as twenty three point seven. Check once. If not, I am here. Fifty five. In Jeldahl's method, the nitrogen presence is estimated as ammonia. Okay now. An organic compound having molecular mass sixty. Okay, now molecular mass sixty is generally for the urea. You can take okay, not only urea, generally urea. So I think the option should be fifty-six three. This is urea. Very simple, huh? All molecular masses you check. If it is sixty, it's fine. Otherwise, this percentage also help you. If you don't know the concept. Distillation under reduced pressure method is used to purify the liquids in which the liquids high boiling points. A liquid which decomposes at or low at or below its boiling point can be purified by steam distillation or simple distillation or fractional distillation. Which of the following can be used as adsorbent in adsorption chromatography? You can use silica gel or alumina or cellulose. Which of the following statement is correct regarding purification of liquids by steam distillation? Which of the following statement is correct? Impurities must be non-volatile. The liquid must be completely miscible with water. The liquid must possess high boiling point. 
dan 